two, three. Hey! Whoa! What are we playing today? Hi-Fi Rush? We got all the the hippest, the happiest, the yeah. most musically talented folks all in one video. I agree with that. I agree with every fucking right. yeah. I don't think I have any of that. How much like Guitar Hero is it? You're a hero <laughs> that uses a guitar to hit things. I've seen Ryan do that. Welcome, guys, to the Rock and Roll Video Game Hall of Games. Hall of the game. Cleveland Rock and Roll Hall of Games. <laughs> I have a personal vendetta against the city of Cleveland, Ohio. And I would like to air my grievances on this video. What is the one thing that Memphis, Tennessee is known for? Not being Nashville? It's rock and roll. Oh. And what did Cleveland, Ohio steal from us? Catfish. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. We have Elvis. We have Johnny Cash, Carl Perkins, Roy Orbison uh, recorded right. music in Memphis. They all invented rock and roll, right? Right. Well, I think they have Chubby Checker. <clears throat> no, they have rock and roll legends like Kid Cudi <laughs> and Mushroom Head. God, the disdain you said Kid Cudi. Oh my Cudi. god, yeah, so much yeah, venom. Kid Cudi. The only uh, uh, rock legends I would say they have is Nine Inch Nails. Well, the only reason they did is because the word rock and roll was invented there I by a radio DJ. That, yeah. And who gives a well, flying That's a perfectly about good that. reason to put the museum there. Then every museum should be in Oxford, England, where the dictionary lives. You'll be happy to hear that Nine Inch Nails has music in this game, but we won't be hearing it because we're playing on streamer yeah. mode. You're gonna have to write us some fake Nine Inch Nails. Yeah, it's Ryan Inch Nails. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I wanna fuck you like a marsupial. <laughs> That's too close. I wanna bake you a marsupial. So, Ryan Inch Hales. So, Ryan Inch Hales. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Yeah. Ryan Minch Hales. Oh! I shit my pants in Cleveland. Really? Yeah. Why? Oh, how's that happen? Cleveland's fault? Well, actually, it was outside of Cleveland, but it was because of some jambalaya I had in Cleveland. What was the lucky city that got it? Uh, somewhere on the way to C uh, Cedar Point. I oh, do. well, what happens I is I got out of the car, Buick Century 2000. I actually have that car tattooed on my body. I got out of this car, and I uh, tried to make it into the Burger King, and I maybe took maybe three steps before it just kind of all came out. Uh, oh. Poof. Yeah. Yeah. Am I the only person in this video who hasn't shit their pants yeah. as an adult? I've got at least three oh, poop was, stories on record. I was like 13 or 14. Yeah. I was still breastfeeding. That's kid stuff. <laughs> this doesn't look anything like Guitar Hero, by the way. If you want to look like Guitar Hero, I'll make you look like Guitar Hero. Yeah, there it is. A little but, but when you say rhythm game, oh, okay, so this is kind of like a rhythm. It's more like Pa Rapa the Rapper. Is this the anime you guys are always talking about? Ryan, what other, what other cities do you hate? Yeah. I really just hate Cleveland, and I, and I would... Uh, once again, to sum it all up, Memphis, Memphis, Tennessee, we are declaring war on Cleveland, Ohio. <laughs> what happened the last time Memphis was involved in like a big war? And um, what side were they We can on? always change the tide. <laughs> well, I did go to the Gathering of the Jugglers there last year, and that was that did open my Case eyes to... <laughs> <So, laughs> I thought I would be better at this game, but uh, I think I would suck at this game. You should take a, take a shot at it. Uh, 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 bird first. He wouldn't want to. He can't uh, hack uh, it. What are you, chicken? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. I went to bar trivia a couple weeks ago. Accidentally. Accidentally. No. One of the trivia was Back to the Future, which I got 8 out of 10, I think. Nice. Oh, wow, there were 10 Back to the Future questions. <laughs> What's the mall called? What does he order? In Twin Pines. Pines. Give me another one. The name of Doc Brown's dog in the 50s. Copernicus. There's no yeah, see, I didn't get wow. that one either. Doc Brown's first name. Emmett. Yes. <sighs> That's right. Oh, come on, Ryan. And Marty McFly's I name in the 50s. Details. Calvin Klein. That's right. Okay, I, I, uh, right. The actress who plays his girlfriend in the second and third movies. In the second oh, and third? That's uh, Elizabeth Shue. Yep. Um, come on, guys. Fuck! What is it that uh, he calls uh, his, Marty's dad? So maybe, oh, you Irish bug? <laughs> yeah, you Irish bug. It's so good. McFly, you Irish bug! Wasn't everybody Irish in the 50s? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think yeah. so. But then they all became cops. I would be able to uh, ace a, t a whole round of... Uh, knock at the cabin trivia. <laughs> the movie that you just saw? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is nothing like what being a musician is all about. I disagree. This is what my life is like. Really? Yeah. Tell me about rocking. Rock you never rocked yeah. before? Uh, never, no. Look at me. You can just tell. Tell me about the groupies. I hear I hear about groupies. I hear no, you're not allowed uh, to have those anymore. What about mountains of blow? Not illegal. <laughs> Unhealthy. What? You can only have brown M&Ms. Oh, yeah, brown M&Ms. Mm -hmm. Just brown M&Ms. Brown everything. <laughs> <laughs> brown oh, apples, gross. brown bananas. Don't put me in the green room, put me in the brown room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I make them give me clean underwear, but they have to come pre-streaked. 
with brown. Oh, God. <laughs> wait, wait, what That's is the brown disgusting. though? Yeah. It's M&M's. It's, it's clean. <laughs> yeah, it's melted. Melt in your mouth, not your taint. <laughs> I'm getting the feeling that you M&Ms. <laughs> never rocked. No, this is right. what rocking is today, baby. I mean, he's rolled. This is how you rock. You've and rolled. you roll. Yeah, yeah, he's rolled. Snort yeah, rocks. Super. You do roll. You snort rocks and do rolls? Okay. Yeah. Oh shit, okay. suddenly we're in like a music video. The glass pyramids. Is this in the Bass Pro sh Shop Pyramid? <laughs> oh no. Holy oh, shit. Jesus. Give me more. Ryan, I'm gonna- I'm gonna name cities for you and I just wanna hear your thoughts yeah. on them. Yeah. Okay. Okay. San Francisco. Beautiful. Sucks that you can't live there unless you're super rich. Rock and roll on a scale of zero to ten. Probably like a four. In the past, I'm gonna give it a ten. Baltimore, Maryland. John Waters oh, makes yeah. it seem pretty, pretty uh, weird and punk rock. So I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it a six, seven. H Town, Houston, Texas. It kind of seems like it sucks. I haven't Got spent it. that much time there. I'm gonna give it a three. West Warwick, Rhode Island. Never been there. I'm gonna give it a one. Eugene, Oregon. Six point two. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just hit her so hard gears came out of her? You betcha. I'm actually making progress, I think. Charlotte Basis get kind of a, a bad rap, right? People don't appreciate us yes. because they're not picking up on the like the lead. But if all the bassists left, if we packed up one day and went to the big uh, green room in the sky, you would say, <laughs> oh, what has happened to that beautiful resonance in my heart as I stand in the middle of this crowd of dirty strangers? <laughs> Good job, Did you win Jacob. I think I got to phase two. You rock! You know, I played a real rock and roll game this weekend. Mousetrap Jingo. Oh yeah. Yes. Is this an officially licensed product? No, of course not. <laughs> Someone pulled out a table and a toolbox full of mousetraps, and then you right, put one down, and then you have to just be touching the other mousetrap with the set mousetrap until, uh, you know, until it builds and builds and builds, and then at some point someone triggers all the mousetraps, okay. and it's scary. And dangerous and rock and fucking roll. That is rock and roll. <laughs> when was the last time you treated yourself to something quality? We get it. Sometimes it feels like quality things are just out of reach. Now that MeUndies is available on the MeUndies website, Amazon, and in Nordstrom stores across the country, though, you don't have to choose between quality and convenience. MeUndies is offering 25% off plus free shipping on your first order when you order through their website. Those undies are ripe for the taking. I'm wearing me on this right now because I love to treat myself and it's the best way to feel good. It's soft, it fits, it's comfortable. I was sick of my old undies and I needed something fun. Shopping for MeUndies has never been easier. In the mood to feel their famous fabric and see their bright fun prints in person, head to one of their select Nordstrom store locations or visit Amazon for men's and women's basics that are sure to change your underwear game. And remember, the MeUndies website is still the best way to explore all the undies and apparel they have to offer. From men's to women's, undies to joggers to socks and bralettes, there's something for every comfy need. Join the MeUndies membership and save up to 30% on most purchases. Members also get tons of other perks like early access and free shipping. To get 25% off your first order and free standard shipping, head to MeUndies.com slash funhouse. That's MeUndies.com slash funhouse. The sale is only available for online purchases. Remember, if you're not 100% satisfied with MeUndies, it's on them! So Ryan, does Nirvana rock, or is that just like Gen Xers like me like to like Nirvana get off Nirvana totally it? rocks, of course. Okay. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, he's doing it. I never know, I never know what's just nostalgia and what's actually good. Throw out some bands, let's yeah, go, let's go. Do you go. have let's any more Gen X who bands who that they want to uh, Stone Temple Pilots? They rock. Okay. okay. Echo and the Bunnymen? They, they rock. Late Weezer. La oh yeah, Late <laughs> Weezer, man. Absolutely not. Zero rocking. <laughs> Silver chair. They rock. Four non blondes. <laughs> rock. <laughs> don't rock. What? No, they rock. No, they don't. Come no, on. God, They're cool. Rock. I like them. They don't rock. I'm a cusp millennial, and I'm saying they rock. Right on. Bones revealed that he's cusp Gen X. I am. I'm. I'm the last year you can be Gen X. 1980. Whoa. Cool. Yeah, I'll teach you all <laughs> kinds of life lessons if you guys want them. So oh, yeah? you buy a cigarette? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you like, uh, you must like stuff like uh, uh, Frank Sinatra and, and yes, Perry yeah. Como. Yeah, yeah Duke yeah, Ellington. Yeah. <laughs> Minnie Riperton. Yeah, all those guys. Absolutely. I knew someone who claimed to have uh, sucked Sammy Davis Jr.'s dick. Just throwing that out there. Okay. 
<laughs> too bad it's too early to end the video. It's anonymous. <laughs> well, On a scale of uh, Cleveland to Memphis. <laughs> and, that, and that rocks. How was it? <laughs> how was it? Yeah, how was his dick? Uh, According to your friend. <laughs> I, I don't uh, think yeah. I, your friend. Your friend, yeah. <laughs> um, what shape was it? I didn't ask those kind of details. Did it wink know. at her? He is the candy man, after all. <laughs> when was dick sucking invented? The candy man comes out. When was dick sucking yeah. invented? I'm assuming even before I like was Like, year one? Like, it wasn't invented by this, like just one caveman who bent far enough forward. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever Jesus invented sex. Well, when they took out Adam's rib. Okay. <laughs> that was enough to suck his own dick. No, Adam, yeah. Adam, had, Adam had that fucking Satan snake. He probably just uses like a... Like a <laughs> oh, flesh a flesh flesh flesh. Yeah. Yeah. You mean Satan? Yeah, it, it was actually Satan. You're a resident animal penis expert, Jacob. I know, it's only one animal, it's sharks. You sent me pictures of echidna dicks via Slack. The echidna dicks, do they rock? There's yeah. four heads, so they rock. Yeah. Okay, Knuckles. Ryan. Yes, Charlotte. Your snake child. Describe it to me. <laughs> what features are Ryan? What features are Snake? Think about my head. <laughs> I am. <laughs> <laughs> but with a jaw that can go all the way down to like the ground and right. eat a car. But then I have the body of a snake. This is your son. This is my son. Got it. Yeah. But I have the body of a so, snake. The body of a snake. Yeah, the head then, of Ryan. But then there are jaw. there are arms and legs down at the bottom of it all. What? This is worse <laughs> than tall R <R2>. two. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, how many sons you got now? After all the donations. Infinity. <laughs> Infinity Sons. I have Infinity Sons. I'm the Shit. ultimate uh, mortal. I hope they all meet up later on in life and like form a family band or something. The traveling Ryan Breeze. Oh, God. <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> right. Do the traveling Wilburys rock? <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you mean, what do you mean there's so many? You named Roy Orbison. Like, there's so many rockers in there. How many other members of the Rat Pack have you sucked off? <laughs> your friend. <I> mean, <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry, your, your friend sucked off. Yeah. What is she shooting her light rays out of? Are those boobs on her They're uh, boobs. wings? They're boobs. And well, then what is she shooting out of them? Is it milk rays or are they light rays? <laughs> it's milk rays. Like, milk travels in both a ray and a let me get this straight. Mimosa. Oh, she's shooting mimosas or milk? Out of her out of her out of her wingtips. You have an interesting style of learning. And okay. wait a minute. Is it possible that she's shooting mimosas tr to try and short out our electric guitar so that we can't rock anymore? The enemy of rock and roll. It's mother's milk. The red hot chili peppers. So album? much of rock and roll yeah. is fueled by titties. <laughs> it's such a conundrum. Wow, what an ethical dilemma. What an <laughs> ethical rock and roll dilemma. Why can you not beat mimosa? She's so difficult. Do mimosas rock? Oh, mimosas yeah, rock. Do mimosas rock? Brunch, really? Does brunch rock? Brunch doesn't rock. What are you talking yeah. about? Brunch I don't wait in line for eggs. Brunch is what you go I, to I said when it. you're recovering from rocking. But isn't that rock and roll in its own way? Every once in a while, it's okay not to rock. Nothing rocks more than absolute as, silence. As my friend Greg said, silence is the foundation of all art. Is your friend Greg the one who sucked uh, that dick? <laughs> also, that's not true. Paint is the foundation of all art. Mona Lisa. That other one. Piss Christ. Piss oh, Christ. I remember piss learning Christ. about Piss Christ. Wait, that what was is Piss great. Christ? Oh. It's art, supposedly. Yeah. It was just like a, it was like a crucifix uh, dipped into a plexiglass case full of piss. I think the dude came and bled in it too. Ugh. That rocks. Have you bled for your art? <laughs> have I bled for my have art? Have you come in your art? Well, unfortunately, I believe that. you don't have to uh. answer that. As your attorney, <laughs> <laughs> I advise you to <laughs> <You're laughs> me of my rights. <laughs> my guitar yeah. uh, was completely incredible. All the pickups had blood encrusted in them because I would, oh, I would cut myself oh. every single show. Dude. Because uh, my, my hand would hit the Do you the not side. play with a pick? I play with a pick, but then it would You're just really getting in there. You At got some point, it, it hits the thing that the strings come out of. Shouldn't you know the names of these parts of a guitar? No, it's rock and roll to it's not know what it is. You need to know three chords. Instrument. This slapping isn't even getting me hard anymore. This has been going on for so long. <laughs> You're telling me, I'm going nuts. What's your favorite chord? I'm a big G man. Wait, are yeah. you fed? That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> You're under arrest. <laughs> for... <laughs> yeah, uh, they don't point guns. They bring in 30 guys with windbreakers yeah. to take the boxes out of your local precinct because this case has gone federal. Yeah. I, I really have wanted to always uh, pass the bar, like, and do it. I become think you a could. lawyer. I mean, you're very yeah. smart. Mm -hmm. Thank you. But <laughs> and uh, you have an interesting. Grasp on the law. <laughs> all right, y'all convince me. 
I'm a rock, I'm the fir- world's first and number one rock and roll lawyer. Well, as your lawyer, I have Ryan to advise Howard. you to not <laughs> represent yourself because then I'd be out of a job. <laughs> the estate of Sammy Davis Jr. has some questions. <laughs> <laughs> it's not liable if it was good. The candy man can the can- sue you. <laughs> candy man can. <laughs> <laughs> Shove your guitar head into her boob. <laughs> what? Oh, man. It's into her it'll boob? It'll fit. It'll fit <laughs> into what part? You what? Mean a cleavage? <laughs> yeah, I'm confused. What you're asking me to do? a picture of Boo. <laughs> what? I watch a lot of our content. And sometimes your your knowledge about human reproduction is a little scary. Just in the moment. Your lack of if knowledge. I had more time, do I? I feel like I'm. If you could pass the, if you could just pass the bar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like with YouTube, I could learn how people reproduce. <laughs> While I'm at it, I'm gonna oh, kill two yeah. birds with one stone. Yeah, just crack an anatomy textbook, everyone. Oh, time. Jacob. Did you win? Well, the guitar yeah, here that's gonna go to her boob! Oh, oh, her boob. Wow, right oh, in the damn. boob. She died. She turned into fireworks. <laughs> she exploded. Baby, you're a firework. Does not rock. Oh.